Thank you very much, fellas, at the desk. Heading into a big one, and yes, it could very well be the conclusion. We get to see some smokes deployed on a pistol, no less. He start for rents and a fight with the bomb carrier. Could get messy. Look at this. Hampus, the fact he's even survived, gets a fresh clip and does oh. take a slow <laughs> down. What a start. Wow. Especially on a map like Nuke, so you better grow to love them. But here we go, the force buy for Ents, and we know that they like it quick. A molly of their own design here to guarantee the smoke wall, and across they go, quick as you like, straight on down towards secret. Multiple members. They make it down almost completely unscathed. You'll hear this. Rotations required. Sphinx does not hesitate to execute Plopsky, hero of the previous. Oh. And then Z. Spotted. Yeah, and he's already going down. Just as easy as that. The site is overrun and ends with a fantastic start to this force buy. Well, I was thinking about saving. Hampus, Hampus is, is not. Definitely not. And he's not going to have the chance. Holding on for what little he could. There's some serious weapon upgrades to be found here, Chad. If Hades could just hold off, he's been hunted down. But that's at least two M4s. Okay, well, nice little bounce back here. Are easy. Just going to farm as much cash as he can. If they keep coming his way, I'm sure he... We'll love the 16, 1600, the 600, again and again. Oh, I was a FAMAS, mind you, so d -Hurt equipped and Snappy as well with the FAMAS. What a quick way to do it, and also the spacing was great. You saw how basically Hampus had run out of bullets by the time the tail of that secret descent was across, but having someone just... To start heading, if it's a fake, towards ramp, expecting that to be more susceptible. So these are the mind games of those CT side rotations we like to talk about with the map Light Nuke. Back into the force by Rez. Been able to get himself an M4. An MP9 looking good in Plopsky's hands. And the rest have got some pistol upgrades here to work with. Device extra for an AWP as soon as he can. But they'd love to win this one back. Oh, yeah, that's a nice counter. Molly ahead of it. Has to fight. Has to. Stands. Deha spotted. Does want to finish him off for deny vision and info. Was he alone? I think he was. And the sound is enough. A step from Deha. Rez executes through. So top util is prepared. Device will be safe and ready to deal with any presence out of the hut. Rez just contesting openly. He's got the only real big gun. Coming. Flash again for the refight. Sphinx ahead of it, losing his head. And now an issue. They have got the bomb down the vents. Dota would have to, s yeah, survive was the, uh, how that sentence was intended to finish. He can't plant at least, so that's the bonus. But can he clutch? 31 points of health, AK in hand, and four to find. Don't fancy his chances. Needed to clean one there, and okay, a small glimmer of hope in the spacing there from the ninjas, but looks like the force by wars are on in a big way. And those M4s, they were only temporary, they were rented. A situation, obviously, Hampus and Co. not knowing exactly who's going to be in the roster, but here we go again. Decent looking by for Ents now. Scout and Deagle, the biggest emissions. The rest have got rifles at least. It's one Galil, and down the vent they'll tuck early. Oh, device, nice little spot behind that aircon unit. Oh. And he didn't get anything done. Yeah, he got really concerned that someone had slipped unbreakable and exposes himself to Snappy, so a dead device. And a lot of room now to work with here. Oh, on the fade. LNZ, that sharp Snappy on the trade. Still a bit spotty, though. Certainly, I mean, Hades scout. Oh! Missing the Mile mark up. and res. Yeah, punishing this group up. Snappy did everything he could to get them into this, but it's going to be the NIP boys to take Dodo out of it. You know where Rez is. If you do start to engage, Hampus are likely to strike and they'll do that ahead of the pack. So we an IP on this map yesterday. Don't forget, it was uh, Onage, Carnage. Don't hear you use that one uh, uh, lightly. No. All right, first test for Linus. Now he doesn't have the incendiary, so it's unlikely that he wants to stick around just wants to dunk the nade. Very quick space being taken. Flank and a half oh, here. Yeah, even fired off a warning shot. Snappy will alert his teammates. No one reacts. That silencer. He second guessed it, I suppose. Snappy has to hunt for this, and he's got the Tech 9 expert. Another one. Yep. Weapon recovered. He's been loud about that. And quick to the draw. It's a good spray as well. Looks like a no scope was involved in Device's success. He's dealt with any of the threat. NIP, yeah, and Pius clutch on match point. Oh, it, it is. It, it was. It was a St. Pius one on three to 16 14. <laughs> so there you go. That's a, a big one over there. St. Pius, a bit of a revelation at this land. Yeah, one of the standouts for sure. Maybe a name for the future here, and definitely so at that major. But here we go. Just the pistols and across towards secret. 
aware and punished. Hampus ready and raring for that one. Five and one looking likely here, unless these Deagles can start to find a head or two. Doto flashed and I don't know if Hampus is going to clear this one out. Doto will have a window of opportunity here, but how aware is he? Going to pass each other like ships in the night. Oh. Red says Snappy. Yeah, but Doto's still not able to find him here. So he's passed. Nobody knows exactly where Doto is until he makes a sound cue. He will have to drop off and Rez is below him. So they are going to know where he is very soon. Well, Loud Device will tempt Doto down. Looking for the strike. He's got two backs turned and two heads already. Chops them off with the Deagle, the toes of Plopsky. Just a little too hard. Business getting taken care of. Limp Smoke Yard, both teams deploying one to lurk around. Attention drawn towards the top site here and a pounce looking likely because Hampus is going to have info and Snap has even found Device. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, nearly. Yes, he does combine the head of Hampus and Deha contributing in buckets and spades. Three could very well be four. And yeah, he looks great. NIP right here. They can stomach a, another buy. It is LNZ who's looking rough on that Deagle. Everybody else with the rifles and maybe the device orb will get a chance to shoot this time round. another different look from Ents, right? Normally we see them doing more top stuff or making sure they're doing the different smoke walls here. It's, it's a new look, so I'm loving the diversity in their T-side play. Wow, Hampus. He does not want to give them a way in. His aggression is well-timed so far, but he will surely not be ready for Spinks. How did he slip down here so quick? Must have been Vents. So he's actually rumbled. The defense, and now space. He wants to surge forward. Deha parked in the warehouse. He's advancing to get that sound cue to lead device to have to be concerned about his flank. Helensy's coming here, but with the deagle, is he really wanting to clear this? It's such a hard clear. Like Deha's surely got an advantage. In oh, oh, he turns around, gets it across the line. Almost made a meal of that, didn't he? Yeah, well, Sphinx was hanging out. He had that low sight access. The door was open for a while, so Rez isn't going to be too aggressive with his clear. If Sphinx aggresses here, he can put himself in a power position now. It's a nice deep smoke he could even push through. Oh, if he sits in it and on the yeah, timing man. as they slink through that left-hand side, he could punish in the back, but it all comes down to how fast NIP want to go with this retake. Cavalry arriving and Rez aware, but the bullet's not tagging. Oh, big from Spinks. Got any more for us? Yeah, they're pushing in. And ZLNZ with an important contribution. Hades gets in and gets out. Playing with the doors, playing with the time. Spots one ramp, but distracted enough. Device does find his sixth. They kind of blinked and they were down 6-0. and oh, And then they did manage to claw themselves back in until Apex essentially just won a round with a CZ on top side. Yeah, he mauled them. Apex was having a fantastic game. And well, Device has been having a fantastic tournament. Keeps that up. Doesn't allow Deha to get away. Yeah, and by buying time with the flame, he should have info on this cross. But Snappy, playing a dangerous game, he's got secret. Oh. Spot on each other right there. So, warning shots fired out between Plopsky and Doto. Just flirting with the idea of committing to that duel. Now, still a lot of time on the clock here for Entz. Hard round to win now, and with the util they have, it is most likely going to have to be more about the bodies than a crazy cool execute. LNZ playing anti-flash. Snappy working on the lower control, but has to deal with Hampus. That molly's a good start. Yes. Oh, so much and responsibility, drop. and they can. The AWP is rotating up, and just in the nick of time, they get down there. Hades had the bomb, though, so he's lucky to have gotten away with just the tag. Ampus here, power position. Oh, yeah, he's two. And he can still find it. Doto wants to get his nades out. Oh, the wall bang oh, promising. Oh. Can't finish it immediately. Now they have the site. Plopsky and Device. Either extremity. Device dinked. Trying to suggest he's falling back, that Plopsky perhaps could catch. Oh, open window. He's here quick oh, as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
uh, bomb halfway tick device. Device is out yeah. yard. He's left uh, Plopsky hanging here a little bit. This is a very common safe spot for T's if they don't want to feel safe leaving the site. So perhaps he's going to try and really, really make this one hurt financially. He is leaving. Here they come. There the they orb. go. That's the AWP and it is retrievable. Dota should have just enough time. Dark is Run, safe run, haven. run, run, run. <laughs> really not an intimidating bomb. For a different platform. Yeah, certainly. Devices AWP, the beacon of hope in round number 10. And how hopeful are we that he finds a kill or two here? A smoke has already, guys, the vision. Don't worry about the AWP, that's the Deagle. Sphinx is down and we know he patrols lobby. What oh, device, no issues with Silo. Snappy just had a little look and loses his life. Now Goto tucked in tight to main, could catch a timing again. The Finn has been good for these. Device aware. That's He's the bomb loose. to heat up now. A double in this round nine could be ten. Just maneuvering perfectly, perfectly repositioning. He's ready for another. That's oh, a the master class. Absolutely. The fullback off. He gets the info, confirms it with the repeat, knows where you are at every turn. Hades just booked. And he's not greedy. You'll wait for Plopsky to confirm it. There is uh, some fun on the fan cams. IAM.gg slash fan cam. This could be the final map if you want to join on in for any of that fun. Snappy's got the only rifle here to work with for the next round of play. And it's, they're not desperate for rounds just yet, but they want to keep things competitive here. A plant, that would be fantastic. Something to go along with that $2,400 loss bonus. A flash being lined up from Dota. We've seen him throw this a couple times. Now the crosshair won't be moved. Lines it up with a marker on the wall, and now he can release and throw. Minus. Die the device is babysitting nicely. And now the cross, the line in the sand is drawn. Line is still contributing, at least for the first. And now it's getting a little uncomfortable. Tagged up Hades, knocks Ooh. his shoes off. The wall bang ain't far off. Plopsky here to clear, and oh, wow. Doto's bomb still hard committed to trophy. So returning to lobby's a death sentence. He's aware that that space has likely been taken, though. You can see the tight angle that he's currently opting to hold, and now starting to get a little bit of a wriggle onto his teammates here. He has a smoke, and that could be instrumental in the lower site take. Rez is currently lower. That's round towards heaven. They pivot. That's a brave maneuver. It is Device in Warehouse holding this very, very passive line, and teams going up the ladder. It's not hugely likely, but... Well, here we go. Straight on up. Exciting. And it is the perfect call in terms of getting that bomb down uncontested. Real chance to win this round now. Yeah, this should be a difficult one for an NIP to overcome. Plopsky coming in from the lobby. Oh, a loud reload. So pressure starts from that hut position. Their after plan positions look great. There's his oh. vent as well. This is a horrible way to retake the oh, site yeah. here, especially with them on those rafters. He's not opting to flash. Maybe he can get one out for the hut player. Oh, and he gets away at least. Does eat his flash. No Take frags space. yet. Time is getting a bit of a problem. Trying to bait. Does set Plopsky up. They need to be striking now. And time just a little too short here. Rez with another good one. Doto just by existing has done enough. And Ents will take it. Great recovery. I mean, don't forget how that started. It looked like they were running into a three-man ramp hold. And break NIP and they can find themselves in touching distance. in the vent. Doesn't seem like uh, <laughs> the best place for that weapon, but the only place for device to rotate right now. And ramp, they go again. LNZ, good for it. Very vulnerable though, and I can't believe he's stuck around. Yeah, okay, well, that's the site. Punished. Big punish. You see the device puts himself in the best position, the bullet just shy. Oh, of Molly, he's really not had the best day into round 12. D has a massive problem here. I don't know if they'll expect this late secret. Very late secret, but if they both die, perhaps it doesn't matter. He's going to have to pick up the pace on this. A 2v4 established, make it just D here. And now they know. Now they know. Bomb's about half gone. He'd love a weapon, doesn't need anything else. The Galil works wonders for the first two. And a recovery. Back down, they don't seem to take a save whatsoever. It's a force buy in. Tech 9's Deagle's smoke wall again. Oh, he greets them both with a bullet. Anyone ahead of that smoke wall meets his orb. 
Is that the is bomb that, loose yeah. as well? Yeah, the, this one's it. looking done already. He confirms it. He is on the hunt, and he has got a bloodthirst in him oh, today. Almost got yeah. that one flashed. Nearly. Just Hades to be finished off here. The whole squad bears down on his left. Before the score reads, and it could be 10 to 4 any moment now. I see you tweeted about teleportation again, Chad. Are you thinking about that flight? Tomorrow it's uh, connections. Malta's not the easiest place to get to from Stockholm, apparently. <laughs> well, they are connecting, but it's some damn thick corrugated iron. It doesn't quite break through. And Device will for his 16th. He's definitely going to be inflating these grand final stats. Well, he was on track to get MVP, yeah. and I think he's going to continue that conversation here. I think it was Dihar and Spinks with the other two names at the top of the list as far as the end side of things would go. Device showing why he is uh, one of the world's best. Four-time major winner. Getting himself back to another major, getting himself locked into the legend status. And fighting fit. You know, you're seeing him at this form coming into, what, 16 days ahead of the biggest tournament in two years? Yes, please. Yes, please. And I'm sure NIP are saying the same thing in their boardroom feeling. This is, you know, this Ooh. is what they were waiting for. Spinks getting close now. spoke about oh. his capacity. Hades, unfortunately, is the one that's been handed the dud hand. 1v2 and only 9 HP. They did get a lot out of this, right? Three kills when the round felt like it should have been done. So NIP, it's not going to come back to haunt them too badly here. There's not a lot Hades can do from this position. He would have to hear absolute screamers. Oh, he did get a chance. Yeah, definitely given an opportunity there. Olof is the fifth man. It's not a lot of time to tidy up and trim the fat in your team coming into the major. Some teams securing the spot, but definitely having their own fair share of woes. Oh, here's a woe. 4v5 immediately again here. Entz, you're in trouble. But NIP not going to be one of them. I mean, certainly going to be some hard work ahead of them. But looking at this, the fundamentals are sound. The individuals are comfortable. There is the superstar outlined. Rez has been a great second fiddle. And that's some confirmation. All attention drawn. Well-timed engagement. Hello. Campers in support of Rez. And that is perfect. Really not going to be a whole lot of fun for Spinks on this first half. In fact, five, he's been kept to five frags and now up against five. Well, if he was to continue uh, hell towards ramp, he may have had two kills. I'm saying that device just turned around and might get caught back turned. And he does. Res as like the, they were not to be classified in the same category as the rest of the underdogs. And they've proven that. I mean, they are the ones here in the grand finals. Yeah, they've shown they've had a bit of bite in here. They've definitely confirmed that. So setting themselves up on a bit of a pedestal. Not to be knocked off by NIP. And we've got a slow pistol around the molly towards top heart. Smoke towards main and away we go. Great boy, D her and some chip damage. NIP down the vents in a very big way. The whole squad. NIP's already lower. Okay. But the whole squad, other than Hampus, and nice shots out of Snappy. His early rotate has been rewarded. He's not punished immediately and the backup is there. Long range from Rez. He taps two heads and now Diha spotted out. Up for another 1v3 in a pistol. Isolated right now. One's upper, one's lower. Oh, oh, it's clean. Hampus just jumped straight into his jaws and Rez has been handed a real damp squib. What's he supposed to do? Dancing with him on the site. Diha's oh my using God, his Diha. massive brain. Massive brain. Leg spotted. Surely Diha with a 1v3 for Entz. As he knows, chances are if he's on that bomb, the longer I cut noise and sit dark, he's rounding out. He's trying to read my walk. That was really pl well played by Diha. They're just unfortunate in the yeah, final well, moment. Rez is just a beast, unfortunately, for him. And Snappy at least stops Hampus in his tracks. They are going to get across here, right? And it could just be Hampus. You can see them cutting noise on this, not making any sound cues. And lobby space yet to be taken completely here by Ent. So as they walk on down, saunter on into things. It is Doto, Lower Sphinx here in the vent as well. Things are about to get spicy. Oh, Dodo closing the door actually baits them in towards Sphinx, I think. Very much a possibility. They could have walked past him. If he goes unaccounted for, it's all about timing. He's got his own intuition and judgment will define his success rate. And that molly may not spread for him. Device knows we have not cleared the vents. 
Oh, 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 he can push on this. And device caught. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Weapon upgrades. Doto punishing. Oh, oh. And down go the ninjas. Ents. A lifeline arrives. Spinks and Doto to thank. And Liners with his toes down. The ladder they go. Smokes to work with. A bit harder to manifest a wall with what they're working with. So just trying to buy a bit of a rotation here towards Yard. Turning their attention towards Ramp. And they want to test Snappy in his domain. Only one for Stappy there. Looked good for a lot more. The damage is huge. And here's the finish. Uh. Plant's nice. Get that down. Tick in the box there. But to hold on to this bomb site with that HP up against what Enter bring to the table here, I don't think so. Yeah, Rez was good, but I don't think he's two HP, four kills good. Ents would have to really slip on a banana skin to lose this one. And doesn't look like Deha has any intentions for that to happen. Quick clean of house. This is his low sight and he... Oh. Love tap. That's a love tap. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's all love in good fun. Tap, baby love. It's all... Let's go of Hades towards Yard. Already noted. Two shots whistled by. Nay damage elsewhere in Hampus. Hold on a second. Device, hold up a oh, second. No. Don't do them like this. Not the deco. Not like this. I mean, they can get both of these guns. They're both retrievable. And that might incite Spinks. Oh, come oh, on. Device. He is looking so damn comfortable today. These shots. It's daylight robbery. A showstopper's right here. They are. I jumped out of my chair. What a shot. And now Doto, at least with the first, it wasn't device, and he knows he was around. Rez reveals himself with that silenced M4. He is being hunted up the ladder, so this could be the equalizer. Big find from Snappy. Good awareness. Kind of defined by Plopsky here. Yeah, it's it not going to clear this. No way. Oh, it doesn't oh, need to. On. Device. Come on. Three one digs. He's doing it on his own, Chad. He's put the whole squad on his back, throwing them into his backpack and carrying them to a 13th with nothing more than just the pistol. You got any more for us? No, no. Snappy, he has the kit. He has an incendiary and he could have Plopsky completely caught out and loud about it, running out of health and chances. But then it's like, come on now. What are we going to do here? The Hades Orb might not be expected. It is a glass cannon. The pace of NIP means it's likely they'll find out it is in play. They're not taking any chances here, not getting too aggressive. And it's everybody through lobby. No yard presence whatsoever here from NIP. Oh, that's perfect. Doesn't matter. Deha striking into Hampus. Device decides he wants some more. Device wants some more too. On the entry to the top side, glass cannon retake is gonna suck. Up the vent. That was a bit of a Hail Mary. Nothing to be reported. Yeah, regretting that decision immediately, I think, yeah. for Doto there, but it is desperate. It's desperation stations right now. The scoreline is about to read 14 to 6 NIP. As Device starts hunting, Snappy, yeah, take a shot. You're going to be locked in towards this main position. Hades hasn't been able to move. Back of... Oh, there you go. Been able to move now. Does get a kill. Buys the buffer. Snappy gets out, grabs himself an AK. But it doesn't matter. It does not matter right now. The Swedes plus one are looking fantastic. It's their map to lose at this point. Yeah, he's got the score of about plus two at this point. If you were here for map number one, you would have heard me mention it's going to be a big one, a best of five final on LAN in the lead up to the major. Yeah. And they are within touching distance now. Okay, and that's a chance. Snappy firing off his scout, and I wouldn't be brave enough to repeat that either. Nappa's caught on his advance, a big one and back from LNZ. And it's a bit too deep. I don't know if Doto's going to operate under the assumption that there's no vision. Yeah, leads to his demise. Warp on the top side can be easily overwhelmed. Hades might have to take some initiative and some space here. Plenty of time for the boys of the ninjas to regroup. 
ascertain where they want to finish. And well, it seems like top site. So Snappy will call for aid. Ooh. Down the vents again. Linus onto Snappy. They have the info. On lower. Spotted. And they know that the, the closest rotate would have been that from Deha. Device booked. Hades, a good shot, but needs another. The no scope's not far <laughs> off, and there's your 15th. Res in hot pursuit of Device's frag tote. What a show they put up against Astralis here. They're being stumped. NIP looking great. Dropping one map, Mirage, but everything else has been fantastic. That ancient game delivered. Deep map pool, yeah. Ancient. What a recovery from them. 13 7 down, Chad. They're closing that one out. Hades, a lot of damage. Two scout bullets lodged now into the Kevlar. Of the ninjas, if Rez pokes his head up, one release of his key, and Hades could knock his head clean off. Won't maybe expect this high red player. His device. Yeah, that is a good catch. Looked fantastic on the rifle. Ancient, he was popping off with the rifle as well here, so showing his diversity. And once again, it's just a really good sign to see this level device in the server right now as Ents scrambling a man down 4v5. They know what this feels like. Traditionally, they just go for an info play. They try and find something, try and claw something back. They like to fight, but right now, they're stumped. Snappy. Not going to be happy. Down he goes. Three players remain for Ents. NIP, just a matter of time. And the info gathered. Dodo does slip the vents. It does lead to a Sphinx frag. Here in time, they can contest this, and they have to. Palms down, 40 seconds. Here we go. As he could eat this flash. Turns. Multiple targets. This could be it. Ninjas in pyjamas need two more clicks of the mouse. It's only Sphinx and oh. Deha. It's only Deha. His dig's good. Already two from it. They've partnered up. It's an open plant. He is going to relocate the doors, and now two different angles of assault.